Hey, welcome back to a special episode. Did I just, did my voice just break right there? I think it did. Did you hear that? A special episode in This Week in Marketing with so much more with Oriana Shea in the house. Nearly $80 million in production, client of ours for nearly 12 years. We have so much to unpack. Oriana, for the people that have not maybe seen you at an event, saw you on some Zoom thing over the last 24 months, um, how long you been in the business? Why did you get in? And then we're going to start unpacking all kinds of marketing and branding stuff today. Okay. Well, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I have been in the business since 2004. Yes. Full time. I yes. got my license in the 90s, ended up going back into clothing design, mm -hmm. and was in cl clothing design for about 20 plus years, Okay, which is kind of where the marketing, the sure. creativity comes sure. from. Sure, The design, uh, yeah, all the exactly. beauty. Yeah, exactly. And it. then I remember just saying, okay, this is my last job. I got divorced. I moved mm -hmm. up to the Bay Area, took another design, do another design job, blah. And... Um, after that, I said, when this is done, I'm going to do something else. Yeah. And then I just came back to Long Beach and started my business and didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> so, but 2004, you got in when the market was just crazy, kind of like it's crazy now. Well, but yeah, but you still like, you still had to work. I didn't, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was crazy, but mm -hmm. you still had to know how to go out and get business. Yes. So back then when it really wasn't... Well, actually, not back then. In the 90s, when I first got licensed, mm -hmm. I asked my broker, I said, who are your top producers? Yeah. Are they looking for anybody? Teams weren't even a thing know, in I 1997. Know. Yeah. So I went to work for <laughs> a top team in the office, mm -hmm. shadowed them around, cold called for two hours, hated it. Yeah. You, I, your eyes told me you hated it. You're like, oh. Hated it. I just, it was painful, <laughs> painful. Yes. yes. But I learned, you know, I, I said, there's got to be different ways to get business. Yes. But then I ended up going away from real estate. And then mm -hmm. 2004 came back mm -hmm. around and I'm like, okay, I need to do this right. So. When did we first get connected? I thought it was like six or seven. 2006. Okay. 2006 was, I think, when I first when I started coaching the first time, yeah. stupidly left. Yeah. I'm not yesing to your stupid. Yeah, back, brilliantly, yeah. Yeah. Stupidly yes. left. Yes. Thought, oh, okay, I got this because yeah. the market was going crazy. I'm like, right. okay, I got it. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then the market fell apart. Right? Market, yeah. And then I came back. Yeah. And I've been with you guys for 11 and a half years yeah. or more. And you've had an extraordinary run. I mean, so so people got to get context. I mean, we could just as easily have you on the luxury code and say, you know, $80 million, your average sales price, the kind of the homes you sell, what you do. But people want to unpack in this show. I actually wrote down kind of three blocks that I want to discuss. Most powerful marketing tools. And with you, I would even say most powerful positioning, branding, and marketing tools. So there was there was like four things we identified, and I'd love for you to unpack each one of them. Your email newsletter to your sphere, right? Super engaging. Your marketing proposals, your agent bio packets, how you position your agents, and then your like your whole like buyer consult, buyer book, like those four things we should unpack. And we could probably do an entire show just around those because if people just are indeed what you're doing there, they're gonna be more successful. But talk to us first about the email newsletter. So it's actually not an email newsletter. Well, it's starting to become more of an email newsletter, but it's been a mailed it's newsletter. It's a mailed it's newsletter. It's a mailed oh, okay. newsletter. Okay. I mean, I, I started doing that. this. Yes. I think I started doing it in 2005 yeah. every month. Yes. And it was the one thing that I did religiously every month yes. to my sphere. You know I'm the biggest fan of direct mail, so so my apologies I, and even better. No, but you're you also switching to email too now? I am now combining that. So you did a show or some one of the agents was talking about the – I think he was from Alabama. Uh, yes, the, yes. The three, yes. the three. Matt, so Cur Matt Curtis. I, that yep, like, Huntsville, I was like, Alabama, I love kills this. it on email. So yep. I'm all about, I love, I love anything that is multiple steps to a call to action yes. and driving them back to the website or somewhere where they, I can capture their information. Yes. So yes. the, the newsletter is, goes out every month religiously. And, and how long have you done it? Since 2005 as I take or six. My, as I take my clothes off in the middle of the show. It's getting hot in here, ladies and gentlemen. So since so, 2006, yeah. how big is your database? 
Now it's about almost a thousand people. So a thousand people a now, month. Now that's just the people that get the newsletter. Yeah. The database, like buyer leads and all of that, yeah. is over five thousand people. Okay. But the mail newsletter goes out to you know. So unpack for the person that's like, oh my goodness, and like obviously you get a lot of referral business. You get a lot of past client. It's the business. number one source of right. of business is and, the and SOI. Can you link back this this newsletter to one of the main reasons you stay top of mind, or are there CTAs in it? I have clients tell me, "Oh my gosh, I made you know your chili, and you know I have a recipe in every right. newsletter." Right. And so that's a whole other conversation. Yes. So yes. now they they open it for the recipe. So sometimes I I position things in different places in the newsletter because mm -hmm. it's folded in half. So yep. on the back cover. Sometimes it's a testimonial, or it could be a mm -hmm. recipe, yeah. or you know, a featured property, or something that will make them look at it, and then mm -hmm. they'll open it, and you know, then we have our recent sales on the inside. Right. The cover story is usually an update in you know what's happening in the market. Mm -hmm. So it's broken down into you know, it's it's like an eleven by seventeen folded, mm -hmm. and then it's folded one more time, so it looks like you know, like a like a big letter. Yeah. And so, so how much time does it take to put that together every month? You know, who does it? I have a fantastic printer who has created the template, and it's mm -hmm. just plug and play okay. every month. And then sometimes we revamp the look, yeah, um, because you have to keep it fresh. Yeah. So every, you know, we just we started probably around the twentieth the month before, mm -hmm. and it's got to be ready to drop and ship by the between the tenth and twelfth. So people like yourself, big shout out to people like Josh Rubin. He does the uh, celeb estate, right? Just like the Manhattan, yeah. like where the celebrities bought and sold. And he does it every single month. And he's, he, you almost become known for that. But like you, he, it's like an information guide. Here's, here's what's going on with homes between one and three million, you know, four and six million. Here's co-ops, this, that. So it's an educational piece, but it's a really solid branding play. It's a solid branding play. And... Now it's also driving them back to YouTube, so they're- Ta Okay, talk about that. Oh God. Here's my chili recipe live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you finally got me to do videos, so Okay, we should just, I know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll come back to marketing proposals and agent bio, you know, hacks and all that stuff. What in the, like, what did you miss with video? Like, wh why did it take so long? I am too much of a perfectionist, and I get that from my dad, but I'm yeah. too much, I've gotta be, it's gotta be planned, I have to know what to say, I have a Barbara Streisand side, so don't shoot me from this side. side. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so you I, want to switch I, sides? No, it's fine. It's already <laughs> done. It's already done. But I'm too. I've I've really worked on, and I have. I just stumbled across this amazing video guy yes. who, you know, I get a thousand emails a month mm -hmm. soliciting me for all sure. kinds of stuff. Yes. Yeah. He just sent me an email a couple of years ago. Hey, you know. You know, I, I see a niche in your market and I want to try this out and I'm only reaching out to 20 top agents in LA mm -hmm. County mm -hmm. and I work for Netflix and I that's where I was like, back up. <laughs> yeah, whoa. You work where? Yeah. So I, I said, let's talk. So he we talked and started shooting videos every month and he's kept me accountable. Mm -hmm. He's amazing at getting me past my comfort yeah, like zone. fear, right? Yeah, yeah. because yeah. I've, I mean, I had the whole teleprompter, I had mm -hmm. to have a script, I had, mm -hmm. you know. Teleprompter, Ooh, yes, I mean, yes. all that stuff, yeah. Yeah, so now he's he's finally gotten, and he's like, listen, I know you, you like the crutch, he goes, but let's not do the teleprompter. Yeah. He's like, you're so much better without the teleprompter. Yeah, yeah. And I said, okay. So, you know, we started doing more videos without, scripts mm -hmm. there's still somewhere there's just too much like more like candid it. camera like just yeah. you know like, like Oriana, do, how do you handle this what do you think about that yeah. you know but if i'm doing videos on you know like the videos the topical videos on long beach and different mm -hmm. parts of long beach are getting really really good results on yeah. youtube so i'm yeah. doing more of those are those you, have to be scripted are you putting ad dollars behind those yes a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you don't need to put a lot. You don't That's need the to put a lot. That's you can get like 10,000 views for like 40 bucks. I didn't 40 know bucks. that. I would have yes. been doing this a long time ago. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Like, yeah, so then I just took that. We started doing topical videos. We have real talk about real estate, Q&A with Oriana Shea. And then I just said, look, nobody wants to hear me talk about real estate all the time. Right. What if we do something else? He goes, okay. He said, what do, what do you want them to know about you? Or what do you want to do? And I said, let's do cooking video. Let's do a cooking video. Really? 
Okay, so, now were you like a chefy chef? Like, is that your like? Are you a foodie? I mean, is that I'm your not, thing? I'm not not really, but I mean, are you I like can a, cook. a busy girl's guide to you know okay. cooking show, right? So I I I come from Italian stock, so yes, yes I can cook. Yes, okay. But I learned from my Italian mother, who has her own language when it comes to measuring oh, things yes. in the kitchen. Scooch a scooch. Okay, yeah. <laughs> which she's on one of my videos actually. Smart. Very yes. smart. Um, but. Yeah, so I just said, why don't we do You Gotta Eat? And it's just going to be easy recipes for people that work and need something fast and give them some tips on how to make great meals really quick. I'm pulling up your show right now. <laughs> is it are, is YouTube Oriana Shea? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Do, do, do. So this how many how many how many videos have you put up there so far? Um, and what have you learned? from now doing, it sounds like a couple different types of shows. Yeah, I have a you, few different shows. You just picked shows. up an extra subscriber, so I'm now officially a subscriber. So, real estate market update, fix it, how to sell your home for more. I'm trying to get to the food, there it is. Oh, broccolini and mushrooms with toasted pine nuts. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm oh. Oriana Shea with the Oriana Shea Group. I sell real estate by day, and I have this fun little cooking show you gotta eat on my spare time. And today we're going to make one of I love it. Okay. Where are you most comfortable? Cooking or talking real estate? Cooking. Really? I know. Isn't it funny? <laughs> Could you imagine if you were comfortable talking real I'm estate? Actually, you sell a lot of real estate. I, I tell you what, I'm paying him more because they take longer to edit. He goes, sure. he goes we got to talk about the pricing on the cooking videos. I go, yes. okay, what do you want? <laughs> like, right. I was like, we have to do it. I said, it's getting more engagement than anything else. And who cares? Do you put them on your website? Do you uh, will you put it into your email? I have a recipe newsletter? page on my website. That's smart. I mean, does it get? Wait, let me just say this. Does it get traffic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, it makes me human. So yes. yes. And now it's it's the funniest thing because now it's for me marketing has been this: mm -hmm. get yourself in front of as many eyeballs in your community. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it doesn't matter if it's about real estate or not. Right. If they start right. to I've run into people and they'll, they'll just, they'll find me and they'll go, you're that, did, I think I did something on YouTube with a cooking show or what, and I'm like, mm-hmm. It's like, but, but you're everywhere. And I'm like, yeah, yeah uh-huh, mm-hmm, like, sure. I see your direct mail and I saw you at an open house recently. Right. Like, what, what's going right. on here? Right, exactly. Okay, so I wanted to, we're gonna okay. jump back to video. So the newsletter, since 2006, this newsletter, point. yeah. The newsletter just get keeps me in front of my mm -hmm. I, because I've I've you get so busy running a team right. and coaching your agents mm -hmm. and doing all these mm -hmm. things, and my coach is on me all the time. Did you make your calls? Are you making your calls? I'm trying to make my calls, but there's a few things that that so sounded like Jeff, didn't it? <laughs> didn't it? Shout out to Jeff. Like, barks, make make barks your calls, girls. Me. Come on, make your calls. How many okay. people did you talk to? So so, the so newsletter, newsletter, a thousand people. Let's talk about um, let's talk about mar marketing proposals. So, so some people would call that like a pre-listing packet, or is that the actual listing presentation? Yes. What is a marketing proposal? So, the marketing proposal was I I'm all about props. Mm -hmm. I love having. I it's thought you like brought my, stuff with you. I did some over there on the floor. Did well, let's want? grab it. Yes. Okay. Of course, the audio people right now listening on a podcast, you might have to jump over to YouTube or TomFerry.com <laughs> forward slash wherever you would find that on my channel. All right, so, so show us what you got. Ooh, props. Um, so this is the marketing proposal, which we now have. Okay, so you digitally. literally, you walk in and. So this I send to the, mm -hmm. I send yeah. an, an email, a pre-listing email yep. to I'm showing the, people the on seller. Video. Um, Very nice. With a link to a digital version of this. So for those of you starting out, one tip is get a great graphic artist that you can find freelance, create yeah. this and have it digitally and email it to email the link to to the seller ahead of time. Right. And I ask them, please review this you know, before our meeting. Mm -hmm. This way we can address your marketing questions right away when when I meet with you at your home. I love, okay, so let's, I mean, having helped I can't construct believe I'm letting quite a him few show of these, this, like this on is so great. The no, journey begins with you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So meet the team, right, which yeah. is super smart. Like, here's all the players. Um, but this is my favorite part. Proofs in the numbers, list to sales price, 106 to 107%, our listing sell, 
for six to seven percent more than other agents. Average days on the market, we sell three times faster. Listing views on Google, five times more than the competition. Where buyers find your home. I mean, a lot of this is classic stuff that in our community we talk about. Right. What I like about what you've done here is I like the thick cardstock, right? Yeah. I like the soft photos. I like the print, uh, the size of the print, everything about it. Oh, is this a download your app? Yeah. Right, so smart. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's a nice way too to know, like do they actually take the time to do it, right? Do they actually take the time to review all if this? If they do, I get a notice. So the, the exactly. app is, so any way that you can monitor what they're downloading and what mm -hmm. they're doing, we track everything. So QR codes, you know, if they download the mm -hmm. app, I get a message or if my agents give somebody the link to, you know, because they each have access to the app with mm -hmm. their information, which right. is a great tool at an open right. house. Right. And and they can, you know, does everything that, you know, Zillow or Redfin or any of them do. Right. So it's it's another great so kind of digital marketing tool. Some, some might argue, Oriana, why do you need to spend all this money on all this positioning if a thousand people are getting your newsletter and you're the cooking lady and the Italian and the super realtor and you got this team, like, do you even need this? You don't, but if you're, if you're competing, in, which in most cases right now, if you're going mm -hmm. on a listing appointment, you're competing. Yes. You need even, to set even yourself- Even with like a referral or- Not so much with a referral. I mm -hmm. mean, if it's somebody from your <clears throat> database that knows you or somebody yes. referred you, most likely not. So then you can get, you don't need as, you know, you really don't need the, the props as much. Yes. But if you are competing, you know, look, there's how many discount agents out there? A gazillion. So you need to separate yourself mm -hmm. and and show your value and it all works back to the presentation. Yeah. So what I I make the analogy with people, look, your home is basically going on a job interview. Mm -hmm. Who you're hiring is the stylist. Yes. So do you want your home to show up looking like they shopped at Bloomingdale's mm -hmm. or do you want your home to show up in sweats? Mm -hmm. And that it's all about the presentation. Yeah. And I said And that's a beautiful visual reference mm -hmm. that people can immediately, oh, okay. Yeah, so I get it. They'll say, look. Yeah. You go into a Bloomingdale's to shop for a pair of pants. Mm -hmm. You 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 love the experience. It's elevated. Mm -hmm. You expect to pay more. Mm -hmm. You go into a JC Penney's, mm -hmm. you're you're looking for the discount. Yeah, it's the same thing with this. Yes. If I sh if I can you know if I can show you how we're selling our clients' homes for seven eight percent more than mm -hmm. list price right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. which will more than cover our fee. Yes, would it be worth your time to just sit down and see what I can do to get you a lot more money? That's a little. Uh, if I could, would you be willing to? Another classic, classic sales training right there, girl. Yes. What? Okay, what about the buyer consult? So the buyer consult. Because that's so important. The today. buyer consult is so important. I've talked to Jeff so much about this. I've done buyer consults since I started in real estate. Back in the nineties. Mm -hmm. I always sat down. It wasn't. Yep. It wasn't called. I just. I always felt like if I don't sit down with somebody and talk to them about their goals and what they want and right. talk to them about what to expect, right? Then I'm not doing. A good job yeah. for them. I'm not. You're a glorified I'm, door opener. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the buyer consultation, I have, I create. <laughs> my agents love the props because yeah. it it makes them feel empowered. I was to say empowered, confident. It, they're they're leaning amazing, on yeah. you as the team leader, but it's what we have together, and yeah. no one else has. Did you bring it? I think I did. And there it is. Wow. Okay, that's a serious your home buying guide. That looks like 25, 30 pages, but you put the contract in here. That is really smart. Cause you know, I mean, I, I get to see these from a lot of yeah. great, you know, clients all the time. They're like, hey, we take a look at this and it's, you know, similar, right? Here's all the steps. What's the median age of your buyers today? Median age of our buyers is probably 27 to so millennials, 40, yeah, they're millennials. So you know, 20, 22 yeah. to forty two is the millennials, mm -hmm. and what I love about this is they're going to see table of contents, and a millennials like, oh, speaking my love language. Okay, all the details that I'm going to explore later with my friends, and I'm going to call my parents and tell them that I have someone smarter than them. So professional relationships. Why do you need a real estate agent? Understanding agency, the home buying process in a flow chart. So I didn't know you were this anal. 
bad. This is why I couldn't do videos. <laughs> this is why I couldn't make videos. Can you imagine? I can, because this is beautiful roadmap. Thank you. Uh, builder questions, if you're gonna work with builders, how to make an offer, how to make an offer. You got a whole page on how to make an offer. Okay, so I love that. And then right into the disclosures. I mean, you literally have the entire purchase contract. Why did you put the purchase contract inside here? Because I wanted them, I wanted first to, there's the main reason is I wanted the agents to make sure that they start talking to the buyers. Yeah. It's more, it's all about delivering your value, right? right? So right. If, if if they're not convinced that they need you before the buyer mm -hmm. consult, mm -hmm. by the time you go, you know, you kind of start thumbing through the contract right. and what they're gonna be needing uh -huh. to fill out and why they need an expert to navigate the contract, at the end of it, they're like, where do I sign? It's the old line, has anyone taken the time to show exactly. you has anyone taken the time yes. to walk you through the home buying process? Has anyone taken the, the time driveway. to show you the roadmap? I love the driveway buyer consult. Yes. I'm like, you guys, yes. this is how you get them to, yes. to do the consult. Shout this out to Tom Tool. Tom Tool, thank you very right? much. But, you, there's, but he's, there's, he's like, I'm in Philly and no one's gonna come to the office. So we gotta show them the yeah. house and then do a buyer consult in their well, car. Yeah, and if you're, if you're meeting leads at the property and making the initial contact, yeah. It's all about get in front of them and then you deliver your value Create on why value. they need to sit yeah. down with you. But the, the the biggest part of this is why they had to get them to sign a buyer agreement. And that's what yes. my agents yes. are doing. So they they go to this page. So how do we work for, how do we work for you? How do we work for what you? Are all, and there's like thirteen right. things that we do for you. Right. Deliver your value proposition right. and why they need you. Yeah. We even coach them how to go to open houses if they happen to be going up. We don't want them to, but if right. they are, yes. hey, I'm gonna give you a stack of my business cards, keep them in your car. Right. If you walk into an open house, just hand the agent there my card. They'll leave you alone. Yes. And keep a notebook here. I've given you uh -huh. one of our notebooks. Uh -huh. Make a note if you happen to drive by a sign and you want to see the house. Yes. We'll get you in. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll get the answers to the questions they're not going to give you if yep. you call. I love it. And then we talk about the professional relationship and you know, do you understand how this works and how I'm compensated and when? This, did you listen to the uh, the Coach Alicia Essig uh, buyer consult video that we did? A, I want to say no. maybe two months ago. Uh -uh. Oh, you're gonna. I mean, first of all, same exact formula. So like it literally, I, I it was almost like, oh, did you listen to that? Cause it's, she started in 1998. She's like, I'm batting a thousand since 1998. After taking one buyer out a million times and never selling him a house and being totally disappointed, she said, there's gotta be a better way, right? Educate him on, this is, this is what I do for you. This is how I get paid. Here is the contract. Now let's talk yeah. about what, it, you know, what are your non-negotiables? What's most important to you guys? And then sign a buyer broker agreement. She's like, I've been doing that forever. Right, so this is, I just love it because again, it's beautiful. Even this feels yeah. valuable. And the right? agents get to put, like look. A little piece of paper like my little Tom Ferry, you know, notes over here. The agents get to put their business card here. Oh, very nice, so very nice. It, yeah, so it's more, it's one more. It's one more prop. thing that makes you stand <laughs> out. Okay, let's, okay. let's move away from, because we covered a lot of stuff right there. Let's talk about, best marketing tech that you've added recently that's moved the needle in your business? HomeBot, I think, yeah. would be a great tool for, it's. it works anywhere in the country, mm -hmm. so it's not just exclusive for California. Right. I right. have clients that move out of state and change their address yes. Yes. and stay on it. And then I'm, you know, I'm like, hey, so are you, you need a referral? Are you selling? Like, what? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Smart. But every buyer we close, and this is the this is a really important mm -hmm. tip. Mm -hmm. Every buyer we close immediately part of the ch the checklist for my ops manager. She puts them in HomeBot at yep. the end. Yep. So every month they get a report card, and yep. the great thing is, is it gives them you know, their mortgage information, they can adjust it. It's not like a like a report that they just get and you can't do anything to it. Right. They can interface with it. They can change, you know, if they think their their value is higher in their area, mm -hmm. they can move the needle to, well, yep. I have, you know, my house is the best yes. house, so I'm gonna yes. go here. Yes. Change their mortgage information, all of that stuff, and it gives me a report mm -hmm. and tells me who's been the most active. Right. It has the most open rate of anything I've ever sent. It's because the only thing, well, not the only thing, what's the number one thing all consumers want to know? How much is my home worth? And then the second question, 
doing some consumer data recently is, is this my forever home? Right. Right. I think, you know, the pandemic really amplified, is this my forever home? Like, I like this home, but do I love this home? And you got to love where you live going yeah. through what we've all gone through. So, yeah. so interesting. So how do you, once you, once you get somebody on there, if you, know, you have a thousand clients, essentially homes under management is how I would look at it. Mm -hmm. That's a thousand people now that could be bing, 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 bing all day long in your phone because they're looking at new valuations. What, what's your strategy for reaction, follow up? I mean, know, it's not, it's that. not dinging my phone every five, that would mm -hmm. make me bad. Insane, yeah. Yeah, batty, I couldn't do that. But uh, it does give me, it sends me a report, yeah. um, I think, I think it's every week I get a report mm -hmm. just via, like here are the most active people. Yes. You know, that you might, and if someone clicks, um, I want, uh, you know, I'd like a CMA or yeah. I want, then it'll send me, hey, this person, you know, you need to reach out to this person, mm -hmm. which is really, really great yes. because then I'm like, hey, did you, you know, did you push the button that you want a CMA? I didn't push the button. <laughs> but if you want to send me a CMA, I'm like, no problem, I'll yeah. send you one. Yeah. Or just tell me who, you know, it helps me prioritize who I need to call. How many people do you have on that now? Like how many how many past clients and Sphere and friends? and uh, You know, and I probably have about 400 people in it now. Okay. Um, and it's also a great way to, you know, stay in touch with the buyers of that course. I you know, I, I didn't necessarily work with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if if somebody's, you know, being is looking and being really active, I can tell the agent, hey. Follow up follow on, up. yeah, call Hector. Have, when was right? the last time yeah. you talked to yeah. him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. smart. Um, and we've already turned a couple, proper, a couple buyers from the last three years mm -hmm. that, you know, had equity and needed to move and, right. you know, needed more space and. It's it's just one of those any kind of like AI any yeah exactly. behavioral you know like hey like notify note notify notify me notify me right <laughs> notify me when someone's behaviors are percolating up yeah. that took me a long time to say that Oriana all right do you have a sample of the <laughs> newsletter in here I don't I can't oh, believe I forgot the newsletter start the I whole don't. show I'm over sorry. again okay what is this forget. little fancy pants piece. Um, you know what? This was another thing that I sent, started sending out at the beginning of the, I sent it out mm -hmm. twice a year. Mm -hmm. And it just goes to, again, everybody in the database or if I'm right. farming, right. you know, which. It's the old proof of success yeah. piece that we've talked about for, you know, a thousand years. Yeah. Would you like to receive crazy multiple offers on your home? I love that. We just let another home in your neighborhood after receiving multiple offers. Our sellers are ecstatic. We have qualified buyers looking for homes in East Long Beach right now. If you've had any thoughts about selling, please give us a call. Right, and what I like about this too, for the person that's watching is co-branded agent and you. Yeah. Talk to us about that strategy. You know, it's it's the agents, the senior agents that are now working on going after listings. Yeah, yeah. It's one more way to empower them. Yes. You know, like, look, I'll do this, but you got to door knock. Yeah. You got to go, you know, you got to circle dial. You got to, you know, you got to hit it, hit the pavement. And, you know. Do I, they, do they, is it co-branded and co-paid or do you pay? I pay and then, okay. but there's accountability. So, yeah. yeah. If so it's they're well, not, you yeah. know, if they're not working it, then they lose, they lose the co brand. Yeah. It's just, you know. Have you me. seen, and by the way, what I'm loving, so I, I now see this why your home didn't sell, because the one place where we do have expired listings is in the high end, mm -hmm. right? So, congratulations. So, this is how I'm trying to break into some more luxury. It's just very smart. Um, doing some strategic. And I love this. Hit the QR code for a copy of our marketing proposal. So do you do you mail this? What's your strategy for high end expireds with this? Mailing it. I'm starting to mail it. Yeah. yeah. This was ta this has taken me a long time to finally get it to you know a few Perfection. words. Perfection. <laughs> yes, I know I have a problem. Hello, my name is Oriana. Hi, my name is Oriana. Hey, I have a perfect problem. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a perfect problem. I, I am perfectly imperfect. Yeah. So 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 you're mailing it. Yeah, with a letter and mm -hmm. and you know in kind of a vellum see-through yeah. or dropping it yes, and yes. just leaving it on the porch um you know trying to just make it stand out right. so 
um, it's still new. So I'll yes. get back to you on that. <laughs> and I, well, what I like about it is it's a lot of the classic things that, you know, you and I have discussed for years, which is like before and after photos, like, you know, did your home, was your home photos look like this? Cause we make them look like this. Right. And, and. Or why staging is important. Right. Or, you know, right. And it's all about, again, the presentation, you yeah. know, this yes. is, you know, and that's the other thing, you know, that we're, we're doing more and more of uh -huh. is make, is elevating the experience and making it turnkey for the seller, yes. for the client. Yes. Did you listen to the show I did recently with Ben Balak from uh, when it, his line when he calls expired listings? Or yeah, I was looking at your home on Zillow, and I saw lots of problems. <laughs> right, glaring marketing missteps. Glaring marketing, glaring marketing missteps. missteps. It was so yes. good. Yes. So you could you could definitely steal some of those little big shout out to Ben. That was a great yeah. show. So you have all this cool stuff. And, and you're empowering your agents, you do beautiful marketing, it's all like high end, um, it feels good, which is a luxury you know, statement in and of itself. It's not cheap. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not cheap. Um, but are you making money? Yes. Do you have a good net profit? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, because now what I've finally figured out, and I've, I've made all the mistakes, people, Yeah. Um, you don't need to mass produce this anymore. No. You don't have it at your presentation mm -hmm. and maybe have, you know, 10 or 20 if you have agents on your team mm -hmm. going on listing mm -hmm. presentations mm -hmm. so they have an arsenal right. with them. Right. Um, but you can send all this digitally to the client. Yes. So and you can tell them, you know, look, you know, this is what I sent you. I'm just, you know just so we can have a point of reference or mm -hmm. just so you can kind of see what, just a sample of what here's, our marketing looks like. Here's the type of quality. Like. Yes, yes. the quality of yes. the service that you're gonna receive. Yeah. Um, so you don't need to mass produce it. No, no, but it's just, you know? it's so, like you could tell like this one is clearly like, okay, I'm gonna print a bunch of these because I'm just gonna be mailing these to high that, expires, yes. right? Where yeah. we're like and it's the buyer not, guide, how many of these would you would you normally print? These I print a couple hundred at a time. Mm -hmm. um, I found a really cheap printer that you know, like we do all the the pla you know we do all the placement and and mm -hmm. the the artwork for it, and and I think they're costing me a couple bucks a piece right. to print them, and everything is black and white on the inside of it. Right. It's just the cover that's right. color. But once again, if you know what is the what is the price one is willing to pay to have a buyer be educated and sign a buyer brokerage agreement. I'd say that's worth a couple of bucks. I it's it's worth my, they right. are my my agents are so mm -hmm. addicted to this thing because it 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 literally walks them through. Right. So when they join the team, they're trained on how to do a buyer of, console. Of course. And this is this is their manual. This yes. is their guide. Yeah. So what I need to do is start putting inserts for certain things that are happening in the market. Like right, right. now, that's a big conversation yeah, on right. how to prepare them. Interest rate sheets, you know, or here's what's going on with price points and, you Be know. Be ready for multiple yeah, offers. Yes, what does that look like? Don't yes. be freaked out. This yeah. is what you need to prepare for yeah. in your area, in the yeah. area you're looking at, you know. That's where you can also, you know, just kind of talking out loud here. If you took something like that and then you said, you know, um, you, you dated it, you know, like second quarter 2022, Ooh, like most that. important buyer tips. And then you laminate it. I love that. And then you slick it inside there and you're like, I mean, it changes quarter by quarter. The market's so dynamic, you know, Mr. And Mrs. Buyer or Mr. Great. You know, Mrs. Buyer. Like that would be a cool little My additive. agents are listening to this. And oh, good. Gonna like, okay, good. <laughs> yes, we're talking to you. Let's get it done. Okay, so so we've covered a lot of ground, right? Obviously you you built a great business. It's very clear, like style matters to you, presentation matters to you. And for a lot of people, like that becomes their superpower. That's what gives them the confidence to go do all this yeah. stuff. Um, how is it translating to video? And may, maybe better, um, translating and then what's your goal with all these videos? To just become a presence in, in Long Beach and in the area. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, you know, more, more, a bigger audience, a bigger, mm -hmm. you know, start to get more of those people going back to the website. You know, what I'm, the other thing that you've, you've talked about is, um, is retargeting over and over and over again, right? right? So it, that all finally clicked in my brain mm -hmm. years ago, but mm -hmm. it's the retargeting and then how to, how to get them to 
push the button or, or make the move that you want them to make. So mm -hmm. the first video leads to a second video. The second video maybe has a call to action. Hey, if you're thinking about selling, download our free ebook, our free seller's guide, right. seven tips to selling your home. Yeah. You know, just click here and request your free copy. We'll email it to you. No hassle, you know. Yeah. We won't bug you. Just, you know, it's yep. free. Yeah. And we created this 11-page ebook with seven, you know, tips or mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. for sellers. Mm -hmm. And people are clicking on it and filling out the thing, and we're. I'm going. Okay, now I've got a lot of seller leads. People, you need to be calling. <laughs> right, like that. <laughs> like that was easy. Yeah. Okay. But, side note: Did you see? Uh, big shout out to Mike Fields, your coach, right? And his client, Mike. Uh, I don't want to misquote where he is in Florida. He sent out the nine thousand postcard, twelve thousand postcards, twelve thousand. Po I look at it on my phone. Twelve thousand postcards, but the first three thousand. Did he tell you about this with a QR code? It just says. Um, like want to know your home's value today and it's just a QR code and it's just this black glossy did he show you this no he didn't it is so bananas why did if he's why listening did he why didn't you show this to me <laughs> calling you out okay but listen listen to this I'm going to pull up really fast here um, it was a post super because the Super Bowl was doing a lot of QR codes this year in terms of ads which was really really smart and I see QR codes all over your stuff okay so so get this I'm actually going to show you in real time. So the card looked like this, right? Check your home value here. Check your home value here. And he sent out, there's Mike, handsome dude. He And look at, look at the back of the postcard, by the way. Nothing, just all black and just the information that you would send, right? Like here's, here's the mailing address of where it's going. Isn't that nuts? All black, oh, just wow. nothing, completely nondescript. Right, but remember, you and I know as marketers, if we put it in a uh, banana real estate envelope, that gets a certain response. If you put it in a small, beautiful, uh, heavy stock, hand addressed, hand stamped birthday cake envelope, those things get open like crazy. Yeah. So the test was nondescript, no no broker relationships. And here's what he said, ready? So fast version, Mike Field QR code mailer update, 240 full registrations. 42 people called him to say, Thank you. Six listing appointments from 12,000 mailers. Wow. Another client just copied it, 900 mailers, 68 registrations so we, in three we, days. Obviously, California, we can't get away with the no brokerage thing. Put it in small, yeah, yeah, small yeah. font, small print. You, but he doesn't even have his company. Nothing, no. Just. It's Florida. That's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. But my point is, you're a marketer. Mm -hmm. myself. So. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm Thank looking you. right now at Jeff. Jeff, come on, man. You got to make sure your besties know what's going on here as we just shared it with the world. <laughs> All right. Okay. So as we wrap this up, video is to be present everywhere. The look and the feel and the touch is when people experience it, they're like, okay, this is a level above, right? Plus it's a superpower and a confidence builder for your team. Yeah. That's a, that's a big deal. And I, and again, it's conveying how important the presentation is. Yeah. So if you don't have a great presentation, then how are you going to present their home? Right. And right. And now I'm start. I'm like my next few videos are going to be about present presentation. Why right. is this important? Right. Who are you hiring? Why is this important about why you're hiring them? Right. Um, and really, really drilling it down on the presentation because that's what all this is about. It's a conduit to kind of you know the client and the relationship and and telling them who you are and what you do. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so as we wrap, what do you want to say to everybody out there listening? First of all, where should they follow you? Should they follow you on Instagram, Facebook? Yeah, What's the best way all for them of to it, connect? The Oriana Shea Group, um, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube. YouTube. Yes. God help Definitely me. go to our you. <laughs> You're so great. You're like adorable. You're like, oh, I can't believe I'm doing video. I, I, and now you're I, on video talking I'm about like, doing video. I'm cringing just thinking about <laughs> Yeah, um, yes. yeah, and you know, and my before and after videos are getting a lot of play too. Oh, behind the scenes. Yeah, behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Behind the scenes are yeah, key, staging. right? Staging. Yeah. No, that is like those are good. Like, like this is what it looked like. This is what we did. Here and here yeah. was the result. Yeah. Right. Seller wanted to sell right away. We said, take your time. I think be I sent patient. it to. I think yeah. I sent you one that of was, them. It was really yeah. good. Yeah. No, just that. Uh, look, it's it's all about conveying what you're going to do for them, and you might need to spend a little bit of money mm -hmm. to just come up with the props. Yeah. But maybe you just do one round. You know, you pay a little bit more for a short printing mm -hmm. run, 
but then you have this arsenal and and make yourself stand out at a listing presentation and really that's what it's all about at any price point i agree i agree at any price point you are so good i'm stealing all this stuff you can't even leave with it oh, i'm taking it all God. from you no i'm kidding but <laughs> <laughs> Oriana, thank you so much for being on the show. For my friends that are watching, make sure you do follow her. And then, hey, as always, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And if this really resonated or this rock star really resonated, share this with a friend or two. Because again, at the end of the day, we, we come from that growth mindset. We are abundant. There is enough for all the best people out there. And you are one of them. So thank you so much. Give some comments, all that good stuff. And make sure you follow Oriana. And we'll see you on the next show. Take care.